Assalamu alaikum. Dear learners, in this video, I'm going to make a fillable form in Word and I'm going to teach you how you can do it easily. Fillable forms can be used to collect information from your clients, from your uh, students or from anyone else. So in this video, I'm going to uh, work with you and design this small form in which you can select some information related to a volunteer which you require for some industrial tour. So you need this information, first name, last name, address, city, cell phone, study session, um, date of application, and some of the services the applicant is willing to volunteer for. So we are going to design this form for you. Using this form, you can uh, distribute this form to the applicants and they cannot disturb the formatting or they cannot do anything with the form except that they can only select these fields and enter their data over here. For example, they can enter something over here something over here and maybe the date of applicant application which is something like this and they might want to select this option and this option so that's everything they can do over here they cannot change the format they cannot add any other thing or they cannot disturb your form so how you can make it let's find out so to make this fillable form let me start with writing the title The first thing I need is the first name. So I'm writing first name and then a colon and, and then I'm not going to do anything yet. I'm just going to go into the next line and then over here I'm writing last name and maybe address, city, state, cell phone number. So over here you can type all the things which you want to collect. So after this, I want the student to uh, use a checkbox to select what kind of services he can or she can volunteer for. So I may write services for which I am willing to volunteer. Once you are done with all these things, now you have to insert the fields where the applicant can fill in the data and everything else will be locked down. So first of all, we are uh, coming over here in the first name we want to insert a field over here before you can do that you need a tab over here called developer tab if it is not shown over here you can go to file then click on this options under this customized ribbon section scroll a bit down and you can see developer over here if it's unchecked like this you can click on it to check it so once done click ok and you will be able to see this developer tab over here so click on this developer tab and here in this section of controls you have different type of things you can insert for allowing the applicant to enter first name you need a text field so there are two options for text field the very first one is a rich text content control which is required to collect long answers maybe you are uh, asking for long essays or paragraphs then you can use this thing but if you want only a simple plain text th that can comprise of a single sentence or a line then you should use this plain text so I'm clicking on it and it will be inserted over here so when user will click on it he will be able to type his name maybe uh, John or something okay <clears throat> I'm going to do the same thing for the last name. So I'm adding one more over here. Same thing will go for the address, then the city state, phone number, study session, and maybe I want to add the date of application as well. So for here, I'm going to add another thing, which is this one which is date picker so I have added a date picker using this control user can drop down this menu and select the date from this calendar so now I would like to give some options to the applicant to select from so these are the services for which I am looking for the volunteers so I'm going to provide some checkboxes uh, to the applicant and to insert the checkbox I can use this checkbox content control over here click on it and I have to write something in front of it to describe what this checkbox uh, is for. To do that, you cannot click 
in front of it and start typing because it will not allow you to type anything. What you can do is you have to press the right arrow key on your keyboard and now the cursor will be out of the content control box and now you can type anything. So I'm giving a space and then maybe the service, the first service which I'm looking for is uh, transport arrangements. The second uh, service that I'm looking for, I'm going to do the same thing. The second service I'm looking for is can be maybe refreshment arrangements. The third option that can I give is it may be financial manager and I can give some general space to the applicant where they can write if there is any other service they can provide. So I can write an other and enter a simple plain context control in front of it. So that is this makes a pretty good form. Now the next thing I need to do is I need to edit this default text over here so that it is much more relevant to what is required to be entered over here. So for doing that, you have to go into the design mode by clicking on this button. And you can see that all the fields will change and they will look like this. Now you can type in anything over here that would be considered as a default text. For example, enter your first name over here. I can do the same for the last name. Enter your last name over here. You can type anything you want as a default text. Select the date of application. And over here I can write provide any other service for which you can volunteer. That's it. Now I can exit this design mode. Other things you can do it. Additionally, what you can do is you can click on any content control field and then click on properties. And over here you can control the text will look like when someone enters something over here. So if you want to change the format of the text, what, what the user or the applicant is entering, you can click on this thing, use a style to format text type into empty control. And then over here you can define that style. Uh, let me convert that text into a red color so that whenever the user enters something, it appears red. So it is more easy for me to read what user has entered or you can change its uh, uh, its type or its font or font size and anything else. And there are some other options over here as well. I'm not going to disturb those. So now for this field, whenever I'm going to enter something, maybe my name, learning or this member. So it is going to appear as red. So it is more readable for me. Or you can do some other stuff as well. Okay, and there are many other things you can do with this thing. Okay, now we are done with the form, but the last thing is we want to restrict the user from disturbing the formatting or what we have designed. So if you supply this form to the user, then some of them might remove this thing or they do some other thing which you don't want. So how we can do that thing? You can, okay, let me remove this thing. So to restrict editing so that user cannot disturb what you have created, but only can enter what is required. You need to click on this restrict editing button. Okay, this panel will open up and there are two options over here. Number one is the formatting restrictions that can the user choose to change the formatting. So we are not going to allow any uh, formatting change. So I'm going to limit formatting to a selection of styles. So the default settings are there and user cannot change the formatting. And number two is editing restrictions. How much of this document the user can edit? We only want users to enter some data into these fields and nothing else. We don't want him to do anything else. So I'm going to select it. And then from this drop down menu, I'm going to select this filling in forms. So once that we are done, we can start enforcing protection. So click on it and use a simple password over here only which you know. And that's it. Click on enter. And now your document is protected. Now no one can change it but the user or the applicant only can select these fields and can enter something over here as well, which will appear as you have formatted it. So you can type things over here. These are just random numbers and you can select some of these things. For example, I can check it, I can check this thing and that's it. I can, now the user can save it over here in the home tab, you can see that everything is locked. I cannot change anything now. So the user can save it and send it back to you. So I hope learners you have 
you have learned how to make the simple form in Microsoft Word to collect some information. This form is restricted from editing. And if you ever want to change something in the form, you can always go into the developer tab, click on restrict editing, and then click on stop protection, enter the password which you have set, and it will allow you to once again edit the document. So now you can once again edit it. So I hope dear learners, you have learned how to make this form. And if you have any queries, I'm always available through YouTube comments or my email address. Thank you and take care.